Hey everyone, welcome to Kim Yin Yoga. I'm Kim, and today we have Yoga for the Birds. <laughs> Pigeon. This is the first in a series that, if you like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. It's the best way to support the channel and lets me know that you want more of these types of films. To get started, we're going to warm up the pelvis in deer pose. So this is our basic left leg at a right angle in front of me, right leg at a right angle behind. And to begin with, finding deer pose, we're going to kind of want to be over to the side because it's a challenge for the hips. So not everyone's going to be straight with this, with the even weight in their sits bones, but it's where we begin. So even if you're over like this, let's begin here. And this is where we're headed. So left hand comes down, right hand is just going to arch over into a side body stretch. And we are opening up the pelvis and warming, warming it up for a day of pigeon. <laughs> okay, I'm twisting around from here into twisted snake. So if we're over like this, we're just rotating the body around into Twisted Snake. Now, not everyone's going to get their palms flat on the mat. You might have to tense your fingers. You may have to put a block or a towel underneath you. But find a way to get that extra, you'll feel where the extra is happening, twist and warmth to your spine and pelvis. Deep breath in. Exhale it out to the ceiling. Deep breath in here. Exhale it out, chin to chest. Deep breath in. And exhale back to neutral. Coming on around, the counter pose is the opposite side. So I'm doing the right leg at a right angle in front of me left leg at a right angle behind. And again, it's okay if we're over like this a bit. It takes time to find the uh, straight arms, to find the, the reach and the stretch. So from here, right hand comes down, left hand is going to slide on over to the side body stretch and this is the way it feels, it wants to go, oh yes, uh, is the opening we're after. And then I'm slowly twisting it around, twisted snake. Again, you might want to tense your fingers as you come into this pose. You may have a towel under your uh, palms of your hands. But make sure that you're not so high up that you're taking all the intensity out. You want some of that intensity because this is warming you up and readying your body for pigeon. <laughs> Deep breath in. Exhale out to the right. Deep breath in here. Exhale to the left. Deep breath in here. And exhale back to neutral. Alrighty up. Bring it on back to Vishnu's couch. So my hands are tucked under my bum. I'm going to windshield wiper my knees back and forth, giving a beautiful relief to the deer pose because we get to internally and externally rotate the hips. Plus, I'm activating the uh, backs of my hands with all the meridian endpoints there. Okay. So, scooching on down, we're going to flat back. This, would, we're going to call this Pigeon for Beginners. So, this is, we're going to work our way up from Recline Pigeon to King Pigeon. So, with Recline Pigeon, I'm straightening my spine, I'm Charlie Horse in my hips. And I'm going to take my right leg and just kind of uh, figure four it over my left. Now, 
very, 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 very beginner, this is it. This is your opening, and you're going to hang here the whole time. Then I'm talking about this pose. <laughs> if you're ready, you're going to lift that left leg off the ground and lace your hands behind it. Okay, you may still be way out here, that's fine. But what we're going to do is isometric, put pressure into the thigh as if I'm pushing the thigh away. Deep breath in. And as I let it out, I release that pressure and bring my knee closer to my chest to the next little point where I feel uh, some resistance. And again, I'm going to take a deep breath in and exhale isometric, pushing the thigh away. It is opening up the back of my hip joint, my pelvis, creating space. Exhale it out. And I may be able to, for the next round, uh, fold my knee down, lace my fingers around my shin, deep breath in, isometric from here. This really opens up the right side as well. And as I exhale this one out, I can go ahead and just bring the knee to the chest to the degree that you can. From here, you may also want to experiment with straightening the leg. What this is going to do is bring an added sensation <laughs> to the hamstrings. And it's a beautiful hamstring stretch so that I am activating this very large area of fascia along the hamstrings and also bringing my uh, knee down towards the chest. Deep breath in here. So wherever you're at with your pigeon, we're just going to have a couple more deep breaths in. You may have your uh, foot up that way. You may still be in thread the needle here. Or you might have your thigh out like this. It's fine. Wherever you're at, this is where we begin. All right, from wherever your pigeon took you, <laughs> exhale it out. We're just going to let the knees be together, relax, and we're just going to roll, roll the uh, knees around, roll across the back of the pelvis a few times one way. Few times the other and plant the feet down. From here we're going to do the other side. So my left leg comes up and brush my foot off. The left leg comes up and just feel this out for a moment. See where you're at with this figure four. And as you take a breath in, if you can, if it's accessible, reach back and grab the back of your thigh. We're going to do the isometrics again. Now, the first time you go through this on the video, it may seem really frustrating if, if you're just starting out with pigeons, like, how the heck do I do this? Give it time and follow these steps and you'll be amazed. Okay, deep breath in. And as I exhale it out, I am pushing my thigh away, but my arms are holding it in. I exhale. And another deep breath in, and I'm bringing it closer. Exhale it out with the isometric, pushing away, pushing away. Deep breath in. This time, you might be able to uh, find the shin through this posture and bring it in towards the chest. Isometric, I'm pushing my shin away strongly, feeling the opening in my pelvis. And as I relax, I'm getting those extra little momentums of 
flexibility. I don't know what a momentum of flexibility is, but that's what came out. <laughs> you may want to bring your uh, legs straight and get this beautiful fascia stretch. You may still be in a figure four down with the both feet on the mat. Not both feet. <laughs> with your this right foot still on the mat. That's absolutely fine. We all begin somewhere and take the journey. Before you know it, your pigeon is going to be outstanding. Okay, bring the knees together. Plant the feet down parallel. We're just going to do a tiny little mini bridge. It's hardly any effort. What I'm doing is I am bringing relief to the fronts of my hips. You can go into a stronger bridge by lacing the hands and putting them under, but this is just a tiny bridge. It's just a little relief. A Charlie horse the hips and bring the flat of the back to the mat. <sighs> I'm coming up. Elbows behind me to Vishnu's couch again. We get this beautiful internal and external rotation of the hips that we love. All right, yo. And from here, I'm coming all the way over to all fours. And from all fours, let's scooch on back to a beautiful foot stretch pranam where I'm tenting the fingers, dragging my claws <laughs> back to really stretch out the scapula. Then I'm planting my palms and coming right on up into downward facing dog. Pell the feet a bit. Find your dog. We're just in here for a little more of this uh, internal rotation of the hips. So I'm a little bit pigeon toed and I'm a little bit uh, internally rotating the hips, externally rotating the shoulder blades. Deep breath in. And I'm going to shift my left foot to the center of the mat, and I'm just drawing my right knee up, and forward it comes, right knee to the back of the right hand, sliding my left foot back. Now, I like to turn around and make sure that things are straight because I can get kind of askew. I have options here with how parallel my shin is to the front of the mat. It can be at quite an angle and that may be more comfortable and I might build from there. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and get a maximum opening and make that parallel. Now, for those who can, arms up over the head. And this is kind of the intermediate pigeon. We're not in king pigeon yet, but I've got my arms up over my head. And I'm getting this beautiful kind of mini back bend and awakening of the pelvis. Now, you may not be here yet. And if that's the case, you may have your, you may have hands to the sides. You can even take a little weight off of the pelvis with your hands to your sides. They might be tented in front of you. You may want to experiment with coming forward with this pigeon. So you find the intermediate pigeon of your preference. You can do wing dragon, which we're in now, so the elbows are and uh, forearms are flat on the mat. I'm in sphinx posture in the front upper body, but I've got my pigeon leg underneath me, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, you might be here, or you might want to just go ahead. I'm going to take my hands and grab my elbows, elbow creases, and bring my forehead to the mat. And just have three long, slow, deep breaths on wherever you are at with this intermediate pigeon. Find what works best for you. So you might be here. I'm moving up and down because I want you to uh, know what your options are. Might be in Sphinx. 
but you find it and stick to it. I'm the jack in the box, <laughs> not you. Okay, you might push up to what would seem like a seal or just palms in front of you, tented palms perhaps, uh, or you might even have hands to the sides here. Deep breath in. Some of you are, will have hung out the whole time like this, with arms up over the head. Deep breath in. And exhale it out. When you come out of pigeon, lean it on back towards the right, or whichever uh, side is uh, in front. And let's bring it on down to a brief relief of sleeping possum. So again, the key, legs parallel. Doesn't matter what you do, just get let your body have legs parallel. Point the fingers, point the toes, stretch, stretch, stretch. And exhale it down. I'm gonna bend my knees a wee bit so the flat of my back is flush into the mat. My feet are even. Come on, feet. Find evenness. And I'm just gonna let my possum <laughs> my feet don't want to be even. What's going on? Uh, let my possum rest. Deep breath in. Exhale it out. I'm sliding the knees down into a Montauk Chia bound hedgehog. So I'm wrapping my elbow creases around the outside of my knees or I'm pushing in with the palms depending on what works for my body. A deep breath in. Exhale it out, isometric. I am pushing my knees into the elbow creases. Elbow creases are not letting it go anywhere. My sits bones are opening left to right. And relax it out. All right, I'm rolling over to the side. And let's go the other way. Back up to all fours. I'll scooch back here and see if I can be even. I'm just going right up into downward facing dog. I'm finding this beautiful, almost pigeon toed, speaking of pigeon, uh, ironically pigeon toed, to rotate the hips internally, which is what they want to do right now. Okay. Deep breath in here. I'm going to shift my right leg more towards the center of the mat and I'm just bringing left leg up and sliding it on into the back of my left hand. Scooching right leg back, I look behind to see that it is parallel. Bringing my foot up, now you decide where you're at today with how open your hips are you decide where you're going to put that foot. Now, some of you aren't going to come straight up. That's fine. Those who can are going to do this whole uh, breathing, which is about a minute uh, or so of breathing right here. Uh, others are going to have the support of hands to the side. You can even take a bit of the weight out of the pelvis and ease, ease into it. You may have your hands in front. If you're keen for a reclined uh, forward uh, fold of your pigeon, you might walk elbows down to the mat to find the sphinx. And this is what I call winged dragon, where we are in the sphinx pose, save for the pigeon leg. <laughs> There's probably a name for that that combines dragon and pigeon, but I don't know if it lets the pigeon come out on top, so we're just going to call it wing dragon. Or you may want to bring it on down. I'm taking my hands and clasping my elbow creases, forehead to the mat. Oh, and I'm just going to let everything go. Beautiful stretch in that left hip and beautiful stretch in the front of the right hip as well. So we have three deep breaths here. You're either in that forward fold, you're in a sphinx, you're choosing which one. 
I seem to be choosing all of them to show you. Uh, tinted fingers, up like this, by your sides, or arms up overhead. And one more deep breath in. And as you relax it out, we are swapping straight over. We should be pretty warmed up by now. Swapping straight over for the counter pose, we're going to put the left, right, <laughs> left leg behind. Stretch that left leg out behind, right leg is in front. So we've just swapped sides and we're going to go into King Pigeon. From here, I am twisting towards the left, towards this leg, and I'm just going to bring my foot up. You may just reach your foot. To begin with, you might want a band or a belt or a sarong and stretch it from, uh, give yourself more distance. But as time progresses, you're going to be able to take your elbow crease and wrap it around. So it comes straight up here. I am finding my fingertips together and turning back, looking back down my left side body. We'll take three long, slow, deep breaths here. As I exhale out the third breath, very gingerly, I'm bringing my right hand down for support, leaning forward, and just gently allowing the leg back down. As always, I lean towards the folded, the bent leg, the folded leg, and around I come, all the way to Dandasana. Now, let's do an intense Dandasana. So I'm pulling, my kneecaps are pulling up. I'm in a right angle here. And I'm pulling my feet towards me. So much intention that my heels come right off the mat. Deep breath in. And exhale it out. Relax. Windshield wiper, just the feet from here in this little gentle uh, internal and external rotation of the legs and of course the hips, because they're all attached. Okay, and bringing it around, we are just rolling into the opposite side. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my left foot and I'm looking behind to straighten my leg behind me. Ready for King Pigeon, arms up over the head in the stretch and I'm coming around. And it's like calling, come here, <laughs> calling your foot up to you. And I'm just grabbing this so I can show you the open elbow is wrapping around when, when you get to it. Before that, you might just be holding the foot, gradually bringing it in, but we're headed in this direction. Okay, now, my, I am looking down my right side body in this combination of opening the hips, a back bend opener, king pigeon. It's an amazing posture. Okay, three deep breaths here. As I exhale out the third breath, I'm coming down. I'm going to use my left hand for support here, leaning forward, leaning pressure off of the hips. Down goes the leg, and I'm coming on back to flat back, where we can do a full body stretch with legs parallel. <laughs> Full body stretch, rainbow arch the back, 
and exhale it out. Wigglasana, the greatest relief <laughs> you can give your hips. It's a rotation, a shimmy of the hips. Pelvis is the epicenter. I am rocking it side to side. It's loose, it's easy, it's not forced. My feet are just fishtailing. My shoulders are fishtailing. Apparently my voice is fishtailing. As I wiggle it out, deep breath in. Exhale, stillness. I am guessing that right now you are feeling a tingling warmth from head to toe. And if you would like to stay in this beautiful Shavasana, please do for as long as you like. I am going to draw my feet up under me, roll it on over so I can say a proper thank you. <laughs> Comfortable Sukhasana, arms up over the head, Anjali Mudra, thumbs to the sternum. Thank you so much for joining me in our yoga for the birds. <laughs> <laughs>